Kathleen Daisy West. I am the eldest daughter of Frederick Walter Stephen West and Catherine Bernadette Costello West. And I'm trying to explain my life and my upbringing at 25 Midland Road and 25 Cornwall Street and maybe help you understand that things don't always seem to be as they are behind closed doors. There was myself, Charmaine, Heather, and Rosemary. Like I say, Dad was a bit busy at the time. And when we moved from Midland Road, we moved to Cromwell Street, which was just directly the other side of the park. I remember going there, and, and it was such a big house in this space and out in the garden there was a cooking apple tree, an apple tree, pear tree, like um, an orchard, a little orchard. With my dad, he was very much a um, compulsive liar. My dad would lie so much that he would believe it. I remember the time he told the children that he'd invented the television and they were adamant that my dad invented the television. And I thought, you know, strange in the video recording. With my dad, it's a case of, you'd listen to what you'd say. And then if you cut it in half and then half again, you're somewhere near the truth. I helped Dad do the living room, the extension of Cromwell Street. Mixed up the gravel, the cement, and laid the floors down. It's very, very strange because I remember one time we were all in bed, and we had the living room was partitioned, because it was 18 foot by 18 foot, so it was a large one. And the basements were being used as a playroom then, the children. And uh, Dad came and woke me up and he said, oh, we're just popping out. You know, we won't be long. And sort of looking back, I mean, I didn't think anything of it. Rosemary, when she used to get angry, she'd literally throw at the mouth. You know, her eyes would go well, as if lights on, but no one's in. There'd be a blank expression. She would actually have a blind rage. I mean, she's stabbed me in the arm with a knife. Uh, she'd hit you with whatever is there. I remember the one time she hit. Stephen and she hit him so hard with the brush it broke in half. And then the next breath she'd be really nice. Rosemary asked me to stay home from school one time. She was really agitated about something. She'd upset Dad. And I'm not sure what it was about, not even to this day do I know. And she was really nice to me all day, and I thought, oh, because with Rosemary, she didn't give affection, you had to earn it. I stayed home, and Dad came home from work. He came in and he started shouting at Rosemary. And I said, come on, Dad, leave her alone. And he turned around, he said, oh, you're come, trying to come big and hard, are you? He said, uh, I'm the one that runs this house. And he promptly pulled my, my head down, put my head down on the floor, and he'd just come in from work, he had steel toe-cap boots on, and he kicked me in the mouth. And I got up, 
And Rose Marie turned around and looked at me and said, that has served you right. I stood there laughing at me and I just couldn't believe what was happening, what was going on. I just, it's beyond me. Cromwell Street, worst memory that I have from there is when I was eight and I was told to go down into the basement. And as I walked down, Rosemary and my dad were walking behind. And as I entered the room, there was instruments on the floor. And I said, I don't, I don't want to come down here, I don't like it. I told you to shut up. And uh, Rosemary ripped all my clothes off me. And I was made to lie on the floor. And I was very frightened. And I was asking, what's that for? What are you going to do with that? And I got told to shut up. And I started screaming. And Rosemary sat on my face, on top of me. And I remember this feeling, this awful pain inside me. And I was panicking because I couldn't breathe. And I was gagged. They put a ripped sheet in across my mouth and tied it at the back. And then they put some, I would know it is black carpet tape across my mouth. And I, I, was, I was just so frightened and it just hurt so much. And uh, Dad said to me that what they were doing, all fathers do it. And it would make me a, a better person and a good mother. And And I shouldn't complain. I should be thankful that they're good parents to me to to do this to help me. And I was <clears throat> tied to a metal contraption. I was just thinking, oh, I wish, wish I could die. It just hurt so much. And then I thought, well, Dad, Dad's told me that this is to be done and stop making a big fuss. And it just seemed I was left downstairs, tied up, when the, the door went. Downstairs is soundproof. I just wanted, I just wanted to be over and done with. And Rose came down and she ridiculed me and she had very, very long nails at the time. And she scratched all my, my chest, my, and I was bleeding. And then afterwards, they untied me and took me into the bathroom and I had to wash and I was so sore, I was bleeding. And I had to basically say thanks to Dad for helping me. And that's why a lot of the times I go with Dad, building work. Because it was our little secret, not to tell Rose. 
it sometimes give me a pound to go to the shop, but I was never allowed to tell her. And then he'd always say afterwards, oh, I'm sorry, love, I love you. And I just kept thinking in my mind how lucky I am to have such good parents that would spend that time that would help me.